Hello, welcome back. Today we are discussing section 1.8, simplifying expressions with one variable. So we need to have a couple of definitions. First of all, the definition of a term. A term is a part of an expression separated by an addition or subtraction sign. Notice we did not include multiplication or division here. There will be lots of multiplication going on within the terms themselves, but terms are separated either by an addition or subtraction sign. Some examples of terms are things like 4n, so there actually is a multiplication in between that 4 and that n. That literally means 4 times n. Uh, another example of a term would be 5x. So again, there's multiplication between the 5 and the x. Terms can be just regular numbers, like 8. So there's no multiplication there. It's just literally the number 8. Or you can have terms that have more than one variable in the same term, although today's lesson just focuses on one variable. So we won't really be seeing things like this today. Like terms, we need to have a definition for that. So like terms are terms that have the same variable combination. Some examples of like terms would be 4n and 7n. Um, I used just an and here to link those two. If it were in a problem or an expression that you're dealing with today, there would be a plus or a minus sign. Uh, another example would be 3x and negative 2x. You can have terms that have negative signs. Those would be like terms. When we do get to terms that have more than one variable, in order to be like terms, they have to have exactly the same combination. So if I had 7xy, I could have 10xy. And then we're going to do some examples of unlike terms where you'll see what I mean with that as well. So some things that are unlike terms. You could say 3x and 3x squared. Even though those have a lot of similarities, they both have an x, they both even have a 3, which the coefficient does not have to be the same, but they are not like terms because this one has an exponent and the first one here does not. So those are not like terms. If we had an example that included things like that, we would not want to combine them. Sometimes people are tempted to say 6x or 6x squared or even 6x to the third um, if they see those, and you should not combine those at all. Um, another example of unlike terms, 4 and 4x. Those are not like either because one has an x and one does not, and it needs to be the exact same variable combination. Another example of things that are not alike, 7x and 10xy. So even though both of those have an x, this one has a y and that one does not. So it has to be exactly the same, including exponents, if there are exponents, um, they need to match up. All right, next page. There are rules of when you can combine things, and we talked about when they are alike. Uh, so you can simplify or combine algebraic expressions by combining like terms. Only combine terms with exactly the same variable combinations, which is what we talked about like terms being. Um, so only combine like terms, terms that are exactly the same combinations of variables. 
So examples here would be something like if you had 5n plus 7n, you may and you should combine those into 12n. Just adding the 5 and the 7, 12n. If you do not see a number in front of a letter, sometimes you do, the 2 is a coefficient there, but sometimes you don't see a number there. When there's not a number there at all, it is indicative of there being a 1 there. I call it the invisible 1 because you don't have to write it, but sometimes I'll put it in dots so that we remind ourselves that it is there. So if you had x plus x plus 2x, that means 1x plus 1x plus 2x. Those are all the same terms. Those are like terms. So you can combine those and say 4x. Another example, let's do one that has a minus. 10y minus 3y. So 10 minus 3 is 7. So 10y minus 3y is 7y. And sometimes you have a combination of terms with a variable and terms without a variable. And they're not always next to each other, the ones that should be combined. So here we have two terms that have a y, and then two that do not. We can combine the two that do not have the y, and we can combine the two that do have the y, because the orange ones are like terms and the green ones are like terms. So there is that invisible one here. So 5y plus 1y is 6y. And 2 plus 4, of course, is 6. Now, if somebody else wrote the 6 first and the 6y second, that is acceptable too. Addition and multiplication are both commutative, meaning that their order can be switched and it still means the same thing. That one didn't have any negatives in it. If you have terms that have negatives, for instance, you did a problem and you got 5n minus 3 as your answer. If somebody else were to switch those and write 3 minus 5n, that is not the same. The sign, this minus, needs to go with the 3. So you can switch them, but the negative would go with the 3, and then there's an invisible positive here, so that would be the plus that would separate them. So if you do switch them, just preserve the sign with the term. Minus and negative are pretty much interchangeable. All right, let's do some examples. This first section just tells us to underline the like terms. And I'm actually going to highlight them rather than underlining them. So in the first one, we have a term here that has a k, and then we have another term that has a k. So those are like terms. Um, you can include the sign here with that if you would like. There's an invisible plus in front of the 3k. Uh, you can include those if you would like to. Um, number two, we have two terms that are actually identical. They're both p. Then for number three, we have a 4w and another 4w. So those are also identical. They don't have to have the same coefficient as we saw in number one. And we're also going to see that in number four. So we have two terms that have an m, 5m, and 2m. And in number five, we have a 7x and a 5x. I am going to ask that you do 6 through 10 on your own. And down here, we actually get to simplify them. So combining things in number 11, 3b plus invisible 1b, that would be 4b. On number 12, we have three terms. They all have a y, so they are all like terms. 
So that's 11y plus 2y plus invisible 1y. So that would be 14y. Um, 13, we also have three terms, and this time we get a minus in there. So 7j plus 3j and then minus 2j. They're all like terms. So you can say 7 plus 3, that's 10, and then minus the 2, so that's 8. So 8j. 14, we have two of them, two terms that have a k, and then the minus 17. So 2k plus 1k, those go together. Those can be combined into 3k. Then you just tack that minus 17 on at the end. Or if you prefer to put it first, you can say negative 17 plus 3k. 15, we have 11x plus invisible 1x, so that's 12x. And we just keep the minus 14 along for the ride. We're going to skip to the second column. We have 2y plus negative 2y and then plus 5. So the 2y minus 2y cancels. We don't have any y's. You can, oops, excuse me, um, you can write 0y if you want to. I usually don't. Um, so I just wouldn't write that at all. And then you would have the plus 5 would still be there. Uh, and you don't even need to write the plus sign. You can just write 5. For 22, we have a 6n minus 4n. Those are the like terms. And then you just have that negative 5 there also. You can write it first. And then 6n minus 4n would be 2n. Or if you prefer, and a lot of people do, they prefer to write 2n minus 5. Either one is fine. For 23, we have a 2x plus 11x, so that is 13x. And then the minus 13 stays. 24, we have a negative h or a negative 1h plus 7h, so that makes 6h. Now 25, we get a little review of um, subtracting integers, subtracting negatives. Remember, you can make that into plus a positive. So then you have a negative 11 plus 3k plus k. So that negative 11 just stays there. It does not combine with the others, but the positive 3k and the positive 1k make positive or plus 4k. Or if you prefer, you can write 4k minus 11. Same thing. All right, that is all we're going to do together. So I would like for you to pause the video here and do 6 through 10, 16 through 20, 26 through 30, and see if you got them right. And after you've done that, you can unpause the video and check your answers. Okay, when you have those completed, you can check and hopefully these are the answers that you got. That's all for now. Have a great day.